Coming to the next question, it is just a change in lamina. Have a look. I read the question. A pentagonal lamina of edges 25 mm is resting on HP with one of its edges. So this is your first question. Such that the surface makes an angle 60 degree with HP. This is second condition. And the edge on which it rests is inclined 45 degree to VP. This is your third condition. Draw the projection. This is a pentagonal lamina. Okay. So it is resting on HP with one of its edges. Okay. When I look from the top, it looks with a true shape. Coming to the naming A, B, C, D and E. When I look from the front, only point A, B, C is clearly visible. D and E is not visible. So we will write it in a bracket. Proceeding with, draw the pentagon for edge condition. Name this A, B, C, D and E. Show this angle. The interior angle is 108 degree and show this dimension. Next, project from all the points to get a front view. After projecting, meet the points. This is A dash of E dash. This is B dash of D dash and this is C dash and highlight this part. Coming to the next condition, the surface is inclined 60 degree to HP. Take one convenient point, draw one 60 degree line, measure this 60 degree and name this point A dash and E dash and measure from A dash to B dash cut an arc and B dash to C dash or A dash to C dash measure and cut an arc and give the naming B dash of D dash and this is C dash and remove this extra part. After completing this from all the points that is A dash, B dash and C dash project down and from A, B, C, D project to the right after projecting, meet all the points. This is A, B, C, D and E. Join all these points to get an apparent shape of a pentagon and remove this extra part. Proceeding further, the resting edge that is A, E is inclined at an angle 45 degree to VP. So draw one line for 45 degree to VP. Next, measure A dash, sorry, measure A, E. Next, to get B, D and C, you can construct with this procedure. I'm extending this. I will call this as point one, two and Three. So that is from A to 3 is same as E to 1. So you can mark this. Next A to 2 measure and mark. From all these points that is from 1, 2, 3 draw 90 degree lines. After drawing 90 degree lines measure from 3 to B which is same as 1 to D. 3 to B cut an arc. Next, 1 to D cut an arc. Next, 2 to C cut an arc. Join all these points. So that is E, A, B, C, and D to get a pentagon. After drawing this pentagon from all the points that is A, B, C, D, E project up and from A dash, E dash, B dash, D dash, C dash project to the right side. After projecting we know that the resting edge A, E falls on X, Y line. So write this as A dash, E dash and meet rest points 
b dash c dash d dash meet all these points to get a final shape of a pentagon after completing this pentagon so you can show the arrow marks that indicates the direction of projection so we have directed this to the right side and this is to the downwards and again this is to the upside and again this to the right side just a briefing the pentagonal lamina was resting with one of its edge from the top view it looks like this it is drawn here from the front view it looks like a line it is drawn here next the surface of the lamina is inclined at an angle 60 degree it is looking like a line from the front so it is shown here from the top view it is a reduced pentagon it is shown here next this resting edge is inclined at an angle 45 degree so it is rotated here from the front view it looks like this and from the top view it looks the this this completes the problem now for the next example we'll take the same pentagonal question instead of resting on hp we shall rest the pentagon on vp and proceed the problem so before starting with the next problem we just brief the previous problem the pentagon lamina was resting on hp and since it is resting on hp the surface is inclined to hp at 60 degree rechanging the same question now we'll make this lamina resting to vp next since the lamina is resting on vp the surface to be inclined to vertical plane please make a note of it next the resting edge is inclined 45 degree to hp so this will be the new question we'll proceed with this since the pentagon is resting on a vertical plane so from the front view itself it is a regular pentagon so if it is resting on vp it looks like a regular pentagon when it comes to naming a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash now we have a front view from the top view these three points is visible and these two points are not visible after drawing this pentagon show this dimension and name the corners a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash show this interior angle that is 180 degree next from all the points project down to get a top view from the top view these three points that is c dash b dash e dash is visible a dash and b is not visible so this is e of a next d of b and c so the lamina was resting this way i have written front view as well as top view now this surface of the lamina making zero degree right now with respect to vertical plane the given question is 60 degree with respect to vp rotate this lamina with respect to the resting edge okay so after rotating to a given angle this 60 degree inclination can be viewed from the top so always top view is written on the hp proceeding e a take a convenient point draw on 60 degree line and mark e to d and e to c so name this d b and c project from all these point to the front and from the first position to get a apparent shape of a pentagon after projecting meet all the points this is a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash join all these points to get a pentagon proceeding further the third condition is 45 degree to hp mean to say the resting edge to be inclined at an angle 45 degree to hp in this condition 
द रेस्टिंग एट इज मेकिंग नाइंटी डिग्री टू हॉरिजोंटल प्लेन हाव अ लक दिस इज द रेस्टिंग एज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू हॉरिजोंटल प्लेन इट इज मेकिंग नाइंटी डिग्री सो रोटेट दिस वे सच दट दिस इंक्लेशन इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू हॉरिजोंटल प्लेन और एल्स रोटेट दिस वे इफ आई एक्सटेंड दिस लाइन इट शुड बी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री टू एच पी एज आई टोल्ड यू कैन ड्रॉ अ लाइन दिस पर्टिक्युलर वे एंड प्रोसीड द प्रॉब्लम और एल्स यू कैन ड्रॉ अ लाइन दिस वे एंड यू कैन प्रोसीड द प्रॉब्लम बट एनश्योर द ड्रॉन पेंटेकन शुड नॉट इंटरसेट द एक्स वाई लाइन सो टेकिंग अ लाइन दिस पर्टिक्युलर वे दिस इज अ गिवन एंगल फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री नेक्स्ट मेक दिस पॉइंट ए डैश ई डैश मार्क हियर ए डैश एंड ई डैश कंस्ट्रक्शन पर्पज हैव अ लुक नेम दिस वन टू एंड दिस पॉइंट एस थ्री सो मेजरिंग फ्रॉम वन टू ई दिस इज वन टू ई नेक्स्ट ई डैश टू टू mark this two next a dash to 3 a dash to 3 after drawing marking all these points draw 90 degree lines because on these 90 degree lines we have the other points that is b dash c dash and d dash so drawing all these 90 degree measure from 3 to b dash which is same as 1 to d dash so cut an arc from 3 And cut an arc from one. Next, two to C. Measure from two to C. Join all these points to get a pentagon. After drawing this pentagon from all the points, that is from A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, project down, and from this particular E of A, D of B, and C, from all these points, project to the right side. so after projecting we know that the resting edge always falls on x y line meet this as a and this is e meet the rest point this is b c and this is d join all these points to get a final shape of a pentagon after completing a final position just overall briefing have a look the lamina was resting on vertical plane this way from the front view itself it is a regular pentagon it is drawn here from the top view it just looks like a line it is drawn here next this this, this particular surface makes an angle 60 degree with respect to vertical plane so this 60 degree can be viewed from the top so i have drawn here and projected to get the front view next the same resting edge is inclined at an angle 45 degree so i have rotated this way so this is making an angle 45 degree with respect to hp from the front view it looks like this from the top view it looks like this so this completes your problem